I like it. I got dreads, y'all. Oh, yeah. in 16 inch dreaded wig okay so first of all first off the box she is looking gorgeous these dreads are nicely done they got this little pack what's in this little pack okay so this is like a wig cap to make wigs let's see why they sent this one instead of a regular ball cap and i see but first let's look at her so this is a frontal Scalp looks good though, but it does have a hard line around the edges. We got to see if we can get rid of that. But because they got this nappy baby hair, you can pull it off. Okay, the lace looks good. And this is that mesh. Really good, sturdy, elastic band. But what they did was, oh, and you got your, uh, your pins, one on each side, one in the back, one in the front. I'm going to take those off because I got a little bitty head. And what they did was basically they took that wig cap and they actually sewed these on individually all around. Just like you make a normal braided wig, which I am going to be making after seeing this and putting this on. They formed a dreaded wig, binded the side so that you can't see underneath. And voila, you got a dreaded wig. Okay. But it looks good. I can't wait to see how she looks. Let's go. Because I have a pea head, I went ahead and sized it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and try to put some of this dye on the edge so that I can try to get rid of this harsh line. So now that I have the line covered up, let's see how she looks. Da, 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 da. Okay, now here she is. I'm getting ready to put her on. Don't forget this is at wear and go. You don't got to glue it down. You don't got to do nothing to it but take it out the box and pop it on. But remember, it had that really harsh white line across the hairline. So hopefully I was able to get rid of it by darkening up. Let's see. I'm going to pull my cap back. Snatch back, snatch back. All right, no makeup. It should be a really good fit because I did size it. Oh, but I forgot about this uh, this little thing sticking out. And I did not tighten up the band. Y'all know I got an itty bitty head, so I got to go all the way over. And it still might not be. Look, it still ain't uh, like tight enough, so I'm going to actually have to cut this. I'm going to do this after the video. But after the video, I'll just like cut it right here, take a portion off, and then just put it back together. So for now, we'll just see how good she fits and see how she looks. See if that line has gone away. Let's see. Dreads everywhere. Oh, it's real. Is this motherfucker? Is it too small? First. Okay, so the wig is pretty, but, okay, so it still has a hard uh, line right here. You see how it is? And it's like sticking up. I didn't took them rollers out. You know, bone rollers, but those are not bone rollers. Those sponge rollers, they curl anything. And that, it was up for like hours, but and it did not curl. However, we're going to fix this. But as of right now, this is how it's looking. It got a hard line across of it. It's sticking out. And it's synthetic hair, so I'm kind of like scared to like put heat on it. But other than that, the red, the wig is cute. We gonna make it work. This is how the back look. And I got this sweater on, y'all, because it's like freezing cold right now. I got the heater on. I know it's bright, like the sun is out, but it's cold. 
Yeah, but I like it. This is how it looks up close. You can just pop this on if you're going to the grocery store or something or whatever. This is cute. Get dressed up. But we got to find how we go, what we going to do with this, you know, because it's synthetic. I don't want it to turn into a ball. So what are we going to do? Let's see. Okay, so this is what I decided to do since this baby hair is going everywhere and I'm not really getting the hair wet. I took a little bit of this Bold Hold gel. And I'm going to just try to stick this down a little bit out the way. Make it look a little bit fashionable. See what we come up with. Put a little heat on it. So basically your sides is not going to show anyway. But you just want to be ready. I feel like I got glue all on the side of my face. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. I do like it. I ain't gonna even lie. I ain't gonna front. It's cute. This hair is like so long. The baby hair is. Should I put more this way? Okay, so the baby hair is not like full baby hair. Like if you had a, a real, I'm not going to say a real lace front, but like a human hair wig. So you have to plug it. It's like so much hair. Um, this is not like that. So you're going to have to make it work with what you have. y'all oh yeah ah, it's cute <laughs> it's straight cute okay but let's see how we can fix this a little bit so I'm gonna take a little bit of these gold clips that you use for your braids and get this out of my face a little bit and cover up that line at the same time. I think it's pretty good for a synthetic wig. A wig that you can just throw on and don't have to put no glue or nothing like that. I think it's pretty good. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you like this wig? What you would have done or what you want to see me do next. All right, y'all. Peace. What my dreaded wig.